We've got to check back in with Mr. Kenny Crump to see what he's getting himself into at uh, Great Lakes Science Center there. Hey. Hey, well, naturally, hopefully you guys have already eaten breakfast because we're about to get uh -oh. down and dirty. Okay. I got, yeah, we're good. <laughs> yeah, yes, indeed. All right. Here's a little pellet here. And I'm going to start dissecting this pellet. And Emily, you're going to tell me what's in this pellet, right? Exactly. So this is one of the activities that you can do during our dissection camp. So both younger kids and older kids get to do this during the camp. And what you're looking mm. to do is start to slowly take apart the owl pellet. And no, it's not poop. It's actually regurgitated matter that the owl swallows. Oh, that's so much better. That's exactly. so much better than exactly. poop. Exactly. Oh, okay. So don't you worry. It's just a giant collection of dust and fur and bones and all sorts of little things that the owl manages to okay. pick up while it consumes its prey. Uh -huh. So what we can do is take a look at the stuff inside and we can figure out what oh, the oh, owl oh, has eaten. Oh, I think I see a bone. Uh-huh. Look at that. Okay. All right, so I'm going to inspect uh -huh. the bone compared to our chart. Uh -huh. This looks like the front leg of a rodent. Wow, that's always nice. Okay. <laughs> Who's hungry? Right. I know, right? And if you're interested in this sort of thing, adults, families can also do this during the weekends here at Great Lakes Science Center. Mm -hmm. We have a bunch of different dissections that happen every month, so make sure you check them out. Man, this guy went to the buffet. <laughs> <laughs> he has one well-fed owl. Yep. Yeah. So all of these are bones I'm picking, I believe, right? Yep, these are all very tiny little bones and little Ooh. bits of fur, all sorts of things that the owl has eaten. Uh-oh, I got a skull. Oh! Points for you, you get a skull. I got a skull, so this look is at that. A little animal skull. And so the reason that we take things apart is so we can understand mm -hmm. why they came to be in a certain way. Okay. So in our dissection camp, we have a ton of fun things for kids to do where they can actually take things apart, understand Another the bone. inner workings of things, and also remain safe, remain six feet apart, but also still stay curious. So all these camps are COVID-19 COVID compliant. Exactly. Correct. Everything is oh, with the safety orders. Everyone stays six feet apart. Everyone wears oh. their masks and everyone still manages to have a lot of fun. Uh -oh. So registration is still open. Uh, camp start on December oh, 21st. Cool. So it makes an excellent gift for the holiday for the kid in your life who absolutely cannot get enough science. I There's a ton of different stuff you can choose from. I got another skull. Yeah, it is. Wow, two skulls and one pellet. Yeah, look at see that's his little inci the little incisors of him. Okay. I didn't realize you were a doctor, yeah, Doctor Crumpton. Right there, boom, boom. There we go. You can ah, see the teeth. Ah. <laughs> well, again, who wants breakfast? Okay, we're gonna <laughs> go back to you guys in the studio as I continue to dissect this pellet. Actually, you know, two skulls and a couple of bones. Drop the mic, I'm good. All right, <laughs> we're going to go back to you guys in the studio. Kenny, I'm, all, the, I'm all those games of operation finally paid off. Yes, yes. Finally, yeah. yes, finally paid off, I tell you. And kids <laughs> I would didn't say, hit the side, not once. Kids would say, we're never going to use this. And that, you know. It came in handy yeah. right there. Thanks, Look at it, he's still handy. going. I'm jealous. I love doing that. Ninth grade uh, yeah. biology class when we would dissect things. I don't you were know why. I got, oh, I loved it. Really? Yes. Hmm. I know that might seem weird, but no, that's I fine. did. It's perfectly normal. 